Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 123, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. If you watch the live stream, you'll know why I am laughing at myself. If you missed it, that, that should just be encouragement to go watch live on Fridays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Then you can catch in on all the fun, and you can even show up in the little chat stuff that pops up up there. So, we've been exploring the Jedi Enclave. It's clearly a loop, so we're going to finish that up, and then we'll go back to that door that I, I skipped earlier on. You'll see why I did that when we get there. Uh, and, <laughs> and in the meantime, hopefully, hopefully I, I can I can manage to crank, a, crank this level up at least one more, which means I'll be able to get Kriya to refocus the crystal for me, maybe. Hopefully. Uh, we'll see. Alright, let's make our way through here. Finish exploring. Maybe he didn't see me. Is there is there something in this junk heap over here? No? Anything over here? No? I did remember to turn... So okay, good. I did remember to turn solo mode off at least. Alright, let's do the wave and start in with some of these other attacks. There we go. Have that. Hi guys. Nice of you to show up eventually. I might as well just solo this whole place, huh? Alright. Um, Another corpse. <laughs> Am I going to pick it up like I did the other one? All right, you found a will on the Salvager. The will states that all of his possessions are to be left to the other dead Salvager you found. You can tamper with the will so that all the Salvager's possessions go to you. <laughs> no, I'm playing a good guy, so I'm not going to change the will. <laughs> but it's tempting. <laughs> All right, don't change the will. Journal entry added. Experience points received. Items received. Dead Salvager. Salvager's will. I know you'd do it, Rayest. The data pad indicate. Data pad has the will of the dead Salvager. It is badly misspelled and indicates that if he dies, his possession should go to the other Salvager that ventured into the sublevels with him. And that must be why I have two sets of bodies on me. It. It, it's still... No, that's not it. Uh, ooh, that's nice, but that's not it. Where Where is it? Uh, ooh, that's nice too, but that's not it. I don't think I actually need those anymore. Where, where's my... Where's my... Oh, because I got the armor. Uh, ooh, I might need to take a little time to sift through this gear... I, I might, uh, you know, the head technician's data pad, and that's going to be broken down for parts. The salvagers will. Storage room data pad. No. Where, where's the bodies? Did they hit the floor? They must have. All right. I had some salvager bodies in there, and it still bothers me a little bit that in my inventory... That massive, massive list of stuff that I keep somewhere tucked in my robes. I don't know. I, I got a pocket of holding or something. Like a back pocket of holding. That should be a thing. Might have to check with our DM for the next D&D. Hi. &D. Is somebody going to come out and say that you're cute and cuddly and there's nothing wrong with you? All right. So far, so good. And what have we got this way? Nothing. I thought there was something else to find before before we got to the final the final bit. Now, that's going to take us back out to the hallway. That's going to take us nowhere. This is going to take us into the next room. Ooh. 
Well, this looks nice. Uh, dead computer terminals and greenery. And... Some natural light in the, uh... Ruined enclave sublevels? Okay. Stranger things and all that. Where does this go? Two computer terminals that are not used. And a critter. Okay, there we go. See, that's why I brought you guys along. Oh. Um. Oh, that's going to bring us back out to here. So I guess that means that this way should wrap us back around to the bit of tunnel that we uh, skipped when we took those rooms. Okay. I feel like there should be one more room, because I see a door on the map. And that would be the door that I see on the map. Uh, Mr. Technician, if I could get your attention please, could you recover that? There we go. I think my lockpicking skills are sufficient for the task. And we got some foot lockers and some long dead bodies. Not just dead bodies, but long dead bodies. Alright, some credits and a meditation. 17? Oh, no, 77 bucks. Yeah, I mean... Better than none. Uh, some components. Okay, components are good. I, I do... I think... I think I've crafted everything I need to craft, but those chemicals will come in handy because I have not gotten around to capping out what uh, implants everybody can take. You know, the, that when they're, although a lot of people, their constitution is a little bit lower than I would have expected for, uh, for what I wanted to do. So I need to, I need to like do a quick survey of who, who can deal with what. All right, looks like we got all that done. Let's uh, let's make our way back to the door. Is there any way to get that last bit of map uh, illuminated? The completionist me is in me is dying because uh, that that's unexplored map. It must be explored. It must be filled in. Or am I the only one who does that? Am I the only one who, who makes sure to run into each and every nook and cranny and make sure that all the map is filled in? I guess I am. Okay. It's okay. Of course, now I'm wondering. Since I could set a timer on these other ones that needed to be uh, blown up. Can I set a timer on this one? Let me, uh, let me, let me back my crew over here. We'll, uh, turn on solo mode. There's no Han involved, or Han, or whichever way you want to try to mess up his name. Let's, uh, put a shield on for good measure anyway. And Valor for a little more hit points. And... Yeah, there we go. Everything that we can that'll bump things up. All right, computer panel. Overload the terminal. Let's give ourselves 10 seconds. Sure. Maybe I should have given myself more. Nope. Okay. I hear stuff blowing up. Oh. Interesting. Still wonder what that was all about. I'm probably going to find out that I shouldn't have done that, aren't I? Oh, and before I forget, uh, I need to put on another Mandalorian power shield. Yeah, the power shield. Or is there another one I want to use? Because that is energy, bludging, piercing, slashing, 70 points. Okay, that doesn't handle any of the physical stuff. Just energy for 170. 
and that's energy and electrical for 130. Now, because this is the one I wanted to do since it handled energy blasters and bludgeoning, piercing, slashing, which is what I'm most likely to engage in since I'm running up to people and stabbing them with a lightsaber. Okay. All right, we're at the last door. Let's uh, let's save this before we go in any further than this. Okay, okay. Sarai, sarai. Open sesame. Hi. Your arrival is fortunate. I was just running out of food supplies and wondering what Legrec meat would taste like. Um. <laughs> Who are you? I wasn't expecting to find anyone else here alive. Now let's just go with who are you. I am an historian and scientist working for the Republic. Okay. A self-styled disciple of knowledge. Uh, if I may ask, what brings you to these ruins? Uh, by the by, if you pick a female character for the protagonist, you will not get the handmaiden as a part of your crew you will get him instead. So if you are playing a female protagonist, you're probably going to want to go to Dantooine earlier. So you'll have him available for your crew. It's one of the other places where, where your choices make differences in the way the game's played. So just like depending on if you're light or dark, you'll get uh, uh, Mira or Hanar. Um, if you're playing a male, you get the handmaiden. If you're playing a female, you'll get him. All right. Um, you, oh, you look familiar. Sure, we'll go with that. I imagine in your travels of the galaxy, you've seen many people. Faces tend to blur together after a time. What else would you like to know? Uh, okay. Do you know what happened to the Jedi? No. It is something of a mystery why they would exile themselves as they have. It is not the way of the Jedi to vanish in such a way, especially when the Republic is in need of them. I fear that there is something else at work, something that we cannot see. Then again, <laughs> perhaps the Jedi are hiding simply because so many people hate them these days. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's likely. Uh, why do you think the people hate the Jedi so? Sure. It is difficult sometimes for the Jedi to see such things. Since much of it is rooted in human nature, and the Jedi are often removed Wait, are you from saying we're not human? Life, insulated. But the reason the Jedi Civil War was named such was because few in the galaxy can recognize the difference between the Sith and the Jedi. To them, they are both Jedi. Yeah. Different philosophies. You hate the Jedi, but the Jedi have protected the galaxy for centuries. Not always. Jedi often fall. They cause much harm on Onderon, for example, in the name of peace and protection. Mm. Uleg Keldroma and Exar Kun, the two Dark Lords during the Sith War many decades ago, were once Jedi Knights, as were Revan and Malak. It is perhaps yep, more amazing once, that some not still anymore. trust Jedi after many have fallen and endangered the galaxy. It is also proof that a single Force wielder can change the face of the galaxy. And that is well, a I mean, thing indeed. especially in the adventure games. All right, let me ask the blunt question then. Do you hate the Jedi? Hate? No. I do not hate them. They only raise questions without answers. Jedi eh. are not supposed to be like the rest of us. They are supposed to see a higher purpose in all things. And they are supposed to train students responsibly and well, so mistakes of the past are not repeated. <laughs> Yet all I saw was ignorance and arrogance and what those seeds created in the Republic. It is difficult to follow the Jedi they created code, Congress. so few others have, but you know this. Oh, uh, what do you mean? Many Jedi defied the Order during the Mandalorian Wars, and it paved the way for the Jedi Civil War. Yeah, thank you for rehashing that. Uh, I want to talk about something else. Do you blame the Jedi who turned, or the Council? All right, let's own up to it. There is no blame. All must accept. But at its core, one must wonder if it was the failure of the Jedi teachings 
or the teachers themselves? Well, that is the eternal Many question. Many of the Jedi Council trained Exar Kun, Ulik, Revan, and Malak. How could they not see the danger they posed? And if they could not, perhaps there was some essential. I guess you've had a lot of, of time to sit in this room and flawed. philosophize. Something beyond the Jedi code that they were missing. Uh, do you know who trained Revan? Revan and Malak would have received the same training I did. Well, let's lean into the. Do you know who trained Revan? Revan had many masters: Zar, Dorak, Master K. Before K left for the wars. Towards the end of his training, he sought out many to learn techniques. Hmm. It is said that he returned to his first master at the end of his training in order to learn how he might best leave the Order. All right. Well, since we still have the option, uh, let's go with the, receive the same training. I am not certain you understand what happened with Revan. Do you wish me to explain? Go on. Revan was captured in the middle of the Jedi Civil War. Due in no small part to his apprentice, Malak, who turned on him. Revan hmm. was brought before the Jedi Council and put on trial. You must oh, understand he was. that the situation I don't remember that was desperate. Part. And the Jedi needed to know how Revan had amassed the forces arrayed against them. As I understand it, they were able to convince Revan to have a change of heart. Revan helped the Republic defeat Malak. Hmm. Perhaps in his conversation with the Jedi Masters, they were able to convince him of the rightness of their actions. It depends on how you played the first game. All right. Uh, what else do we have? What else would you like to know? Why do you work for the Republic? I'm trying to save the Republic. Don't I get a droid you might want to talk to. Instrumental to that effort. He's also Despite trying to the save the Republic, the Jedi Civil but War, he seems a little there are those among the darker Republic about who it. Still favor the Jedi and wish them to return, and there are admirals within the fleet who recognize that the Jedi must be found if the Republic is to hold together. Yet as long as Onderon remains within the Republic, and the efforts on Tilo succeed, that is all that matters. Hmm. That is a good question. Why Tilos and Onderon? The Republic is fragile right now. Tilos is important because its success will determine whether or not the other dead worlds receive the same reconstruction efforts. Okay, if that's Tilos fair. If Tilos is rebuilt and made habitable again, it will affect a string of worlds along the rim. And Onderon? Onderon, strangely enough, was unaffected by the Jedi Civil War. It's almost as if Revan didn't want to attack it. Hmm. Its resources and position on the rim make it a vital supply line and guard post against outer rim attacks. Also, it's the only world in the Republic still capable of seeding ecosystems into other dead worlds. Onderon's wildlife oh, yeah. is some of the most aggressive. We've been reminded of that galaxy. by the Athorians and others. Replacing some of those beasts on target worlds will guarantee their habitation for years to come. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. We'll talk about well intended uh, re uh, species reintroduction and all that at another point in time. Let's ask instead why is the Jedi Order important? The Jedi are a symbol. As much damage as their reputation took during the Sith War and the Jedi Civil War, there are still many who they serve as an example. Okay. Plus, there have been times in the past where a single Jedi has been enough to change you the face that. of a world or a galaxy. I suppose I still believe that might be possible. Despite the betrayal of many of the Jedi hmm. against the Republic, I must concede that as figureheads, they do serve a vital role. All right. What else, what like else do we have to talk about? Tell me about the Republic. I do not know if you are aware of how fragile the Republic no, is. No, no, I'm quite aware of that. It's Everybody keeps reminding me. It's thin, and it grows weaker with time. Mm-hmm. What happened? The was Jedi it Congress? Civil War brought it was much Congress. suffering to the galaxy, and the forces that Malak and Revan amassed against us seemed limitless. Many worlds were destroyed, trade routes disrupted, and the Republic fleet hmm. was almost decimated. While it is said that Revan Not and almost. several Republic heroes and Jedi defeated Malak, in many ways Malak had already won. Uh, what do you mean by that? The war was costly, and it shattered the Republic. In time, the Republic might recover, but if a threat strikes now, if certain key worlds are not held, then okay. the Republic will So is that why the game is focusing on these uh, key worlds? Before you go, I had a question for you. You came to Dantooine in search of Jedi. Why? 
Uh, because of a force bond I need severed. Now, to get some answers, the Sith are awake in the galaxy. I'm going to need their help. Because they need to answer for what they did to me. No, let's go with that third one. Because the Sith are awake and I'm going to need their help to stop them. If the Sith are rising in the galaxy again, then it is strange the Jedi would not be there to meet them. And that we have not seen more evidence of the yeah. Sith. You haven't been looking. Uh, do you not believe me? No, they're out there. They've been handing me since Paragus. No, I believe you. <laughs> I merely find such subtleties among the Sith to be strange. They have been known to practice deception. But in the histories, since the time of the Dark Lords Kuhn and Keldroma, and Revan and Malak, such subtleties have been rare. I will return to Kunda now and await the next transport. You may find me there if you have more questions. Well, okay then. That was fun. Ish. Adjacent. Fun adjacent. Can I, can I loot the library? I, I feel like I should be able to... If I hit each and every bookshelf, does that uh, does that give me a wisdom bonus? Or would that be an intelligence bonus? Three dead mercenaries lay here, accompanied by signs of combat. Each of the mercenaries bear evidence that they were killed by a lightsaber. Aww. Uh, uh, is, is this the, the Padawan kid, or is this something else? Is this, is this the guy I just let go? This is the guy I just let go, isn't it? He just calmly walked out and all that. Alright, dead mercenaries. Ooh. Azkul's orders? This databank contains orders from Azgul, the leader of the mercenaries on Dantooine. Verk has wandered into the Enclave alone. You will take a full squad and capture the Jedi alive. Okay, that explains it. Bring him to our nook in the Kinrath Caves to await transport to Nar Shaddai. He will fetch a fine bounty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, come on. Y you guys have the lootable, the lootable marker. No? Okay. Hmm. Well, that explains the uh, lightsaber marks. It wasn't the guy that I just let go. It was the uh, <laughs> the attempt to take a Jedi Master alive. All right, then uh, I guess we're off to the Crystal Caves. Because we've accomplished all that we could accomplish here. I might, uh, I might have to stop by a workbench to, to put a couple things together. But uh, I don't think that's going to happen today. Not this go around. We have acquired some new loot. We've found the Disciple, who, again, if you play a female protagonist, is who you get instead of the Handmaiden. And, and I'm pretty sure I don't want a Philosopher on my ship anyway. I mean, look at the way I've been playing. What part of that says subtleties and philosophies? Kind of wish there was a quick exit, though. Oh! Oh, hello! Let me save the game real quick. Because if you remember, this was the guy hassling us over at the admin center. And I have a funny feeling he's going to want to... Braved the perils hmm. of the sub-level, yes. oh, I have. Many stories mm -hmm. and artifacts in your possession. This is fortuitous for myself and <coughs> associates. For now, Sorry. not only do I get rich salvage, <laughs> but an even richer bounty. Do not be making this difficult. Your oh, oh, dude. Painless. This won't be difficult for one of us. <laughs> I'm afraid your death won't be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the way this guy's been annoying me, I I might be just a smith. Like, like, do I lose one of my light side points for thinking about it, but not selecting it, just thinking about it? The idea just kind of floated in there. It didn't force its way. It just, you know, okay. I don't suppose you'd like to negotiate a peaceful resolution. Negotiations are not possible. Hmm. 
A deal has been made with anxious people. People you... You're Do talking to people you cross. shouldn't cross. And now, Jedi, I kind of wish there was a way to, like, you know, you want to negotiate. I mean, I'm a Jedi, right? All right, let, let's let's do this quick. Let's knock you down. Let's get an extra attack in there. Let's do a valor and a battle meditation, and then we'll be back at it. Go ahead, run on up, see what that gets you. That gets you dead in a hurry, that's what that gets you. Alright. How do you like that? Oh. Well, that wouldn't that, Nathan. Alright, what's in his remains? Electro mesh armor. Alright, maybe it's not that good. It didn't serve him that well, that's for sure. That's it. None, none of your other minions, do you not pay them well enough for them to have loot? Is that it? Like, you're that cheap a cheapskate that your minions can't have loot? Because they can't afford it? Like, they don't even have the ten bucks in the bottom of their boot? Okay. Maybe it's time for a short break. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.